John right here with the legend Chris Cremier at the conclusion of the 2016 Lou Ferrigno <laughs> Legacy Championships in Palm Springs where Chris's guy, Nathan Yash, walked off with a $10,000 first place prize and the 2017 Mr. Olympia qualification. Um, but it was touch and go for a minute there. Uh, we had a, a strong competition in terms of second through fifth place. I think you had Nathan winning right at pre-judging. Right. Why was Nathan victorious at, at first blush? I just thought that uh, he had the most pleasing physique in the, in the, in the lineup. Uh, he had the more rounded, no one else had rounded uh, muscles, belly just such as he did. And uh, I think Lockett was the next one closest to that type of round, this type of muscle, but he had a like, lot more density and, uh, 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 you know, the, the striations are a lot more on his side. and. Also, that day, that taper just got it. It was, it was the best in the in the class. Uh, uh, the taper to the, with the mass ratio, I think that was the best in his, his, his favor. Yeah, I think it came down to the guy with the fewest flaws, which happened to be the winner tonight. So where does that leave Justin Compton? Second place, big round and full, a little bit watery, but he did go to Asia in August and, and qualified by winning the Arnold Classic. Went to the Olympia for the first time, took 10th place, hung on from September to here, but Nathan, he's, he's been on a marathon as well. What does Justin have to do? Well, I just thought he just overshot his calories a little bit uh, coming in, maybe, that made him be a little bit bloated, and he started to carry a lot more water. Even in the night show, he even appeared to have more more bloated, uh, or more water in his lower abdomen, so I thought that was a, like a, a, one of the major things that you, you could see it from the side, he would hit the side tricep shot, there was, was a lot more distension there, and uh, Nathan was like totally like flat there, and I think that made a big difference, but he was, you know, a little bit off from his showing at the Olympia, um, you know, he's a... Uh, I always thought he was a lot taller than that, yeah. but he's uh, he's actually like five nine or so. But he just okay. appears he appears to be a real size. big, huge guy. So yeah. it's uh, you know he it just it, he's he's right there to do what he wants to do in sport. It's just gonna take a little bit more time to get that. That, Refinement, uh, I yeah, think it is. Fine. And yeah. immaturity. Justin is a young cat. Uh, J what about Lucas Osladil? I mean, this guy was impressive in he certain was, poses. Yeah. Very unique posing routine. Probably one of the best poses up here tonight. Some of the some of the poses that Luke had was better than anyone up there at some, at some given time to, uh, at that shot or that particular uh, uh, pose. Mm -hmm. um, I just, uh, I don't know, I just think uh, he's one of those guys, yeah, but, but one of those guys that they have different body parts that look great, some body parts not so outstanding. Uh, the way he posed, the way he, uh, I think that he's a little more time. But he's, he's one that can do great in the, in the future, though. Yeah, he's got to pick the right show, and he'll do a whole lot better. Now, where does that leave us with Michael Lockett? I mean, it wasn't a standout, a little bit straight up and down. It looked like he might have been sporting a little bit of gyno on the left chest. Michael Lockett needs, needs refinement in his posing. I know we, we even, we've even talked about that for uh, uh, a few times, about me even in helping him with that. And a little bit more with the training, I think. Uh, if you improve in the training and posing, that's going to definitely do a lot, a lot, pay a lot more dividends for him in the sport. Absolutely. Well, it's another great uh, competition here uh, at the Aqua Caliente. Tomorrow, they'll have the NPC version of the Ferrigno Legacy Championships. But right now, things are going to wrap it up right here in Palm Springs with the real deal. Chris Cremier, I'm Sean Ray, musketdevelopment.com.